At first glance, Iggy's Wrecking Balls may look like one of those sickeningly cutesy Nintendo games. Well, it is, though they're still a pretty good game amidst all that cuteness. The game takes place in the Cho Dharma Kingdom, where the inhabitants have no worries and no bills to pay. What I want to know is where is this place and how do I get there? Oh yeah, there's also these sacred towers there too. Enter Iggy and his friends whose sole purpose is to race up and down each and every one of these towers, thereby wrecking it. Iggy's Wrecking Balls is sort of a cross between a cute racing game like Diddy Kong Racing and a platform or even puzzle game. You'll need to run and jump your way up the towers, avoiding the traps and hazards while trying to figure out how to get to the next platform and staying in the lead. You have at your disposal the use of a grappling hook that allows you to climb up ledges as well as grapple your opponents and throwing them off the track. There are 10 races in each level and the standings are based on a point system. Whoever has the most points at the end of the 10 races wins a level. Individual track design is excellent, keeping the pace of the races really frantic. The game modes include regular racing, a battle mode which is kind of a free-for-all brawl where the last person standing wins, and also a time trial mode. The graphics are first rate. There's some incidental pop-up during the game, but nothing really blatant. The track textures look good, but you'll be begging for some variety after a few levels. The backgrounds are fabulous too, and everything else looks clean as it is drawn beautifully. The music comes courtesy of a pseudo-techno soundtrack, which isn't all that bad, but it gives the game a weird psychedelic feel. The sound effects are excellent, much like Diddy Kong Racing where each character's speech is limited to whoops, cheers and taunts. And like Diddy Kong Racing, the female character taunts get pretty annoying after a while. The depth in this game is surprising and welcome. First off, mastering the special grappling techniques requires a bit of practice as well as some frantic joystick twirling. There are loads of cool ways to grab, toss, spin and throw your opponent off the towers but most of these take practice, practice and more practice. The tracks themselves can be tricky too, with numerous shortcuts and hidden paths to find in order to gain an advantage. Add to this 9 secret characters and 6 hidden tracks and you've got quite a formidable game on your hands. Iggy's Wrecking Balls is a lot more difficult than it looks. Part of this is because the game has a lot of depth with lots of special moves and power-ups. Also contributing to the game's difficulty are the weak controls. Basically, the analog stick moves your character as well as aiming your grappling hook. This pretty much rules out moving right to advance your position and grappling left to slow down your opponent. The controls aren't absolute and you have to do a lot of adjustments on the stick as the camera pans to different perspectives as you scale the towers. Multiplayer is a lot more fun than solo play, but the controls are so unintuitive and the gameplay so challenging that novice players may give up in frustration pretty quickly. Perhaps the best part of multiplayer is throwing an opponent off the track at a particularly difficult section of the course, thus ensuring you win. However, a lot of games end without you ever getting close enough to the other players to screw them up, so it's pretty much a mixed bag here. Iggy's Wrecking Balls is one of those games you'll either love or you'll hate. As a collector this wasn't too difficult to find but don't expect to get this on the cheap. It has an almost cult status to it and I expect the value of this game to increase quite quickly in the years ahead. So have you ever played Iggy's Wrecking Balls or until this review have you never even heard of it? This is a weird and wonderful game and I'd love to know your thoughts on it in the comments below. Also, if you have a huge set of wrecking balls yourself, click the like button to show how manly you are. Until next time.